it's hot outside and I mean hot the Sun can almost be unbearable at times but it's not always gonna be that way in this episode I'm gonna tell you how and when the Sun is going to die if you thought the Sun had been around forever it hasn't it's only been around for about 4.6 of the 13.5 billion years since the universe began and it's not going to last forever either. But before we learn about the sun's ultimate demise, let's learn some basics about that bright ball in the sky. The sun is a star, literally. It's a big ball of hot plasma whose mass accounts for more than 99.8% of the mass of the entire solar system. So Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, and all the other planets, all of their moons, all of the asteroids and comets, and everything else in the solar system accounts for little more than 0.1% of its mass. The sun is composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, which are the first two elements on the periodic table, and it's powered by nuclear fusion, which takes those hydrogen atoms and fuses them into helium atoms. Every second, 600 million tons of hydrogen is converted into helium. During this process, an enormous amount of energy is produced, which is what provides Earth with heat, light, and ultimately, life. But this process won't continue forever. That hydrogen supply is slowly being consumed. At 4.6 billion years old, the sun as we know it is almost halfway through its life cycle. You see, right now the sun is in its main sequence stage, but it is slowly heating up. In about 5 billion more years, the sun will consume the last of its hydrogen supply and start to expand outward as it becomes a red giant. During this process, it will devour Mercury, Venus, and probably Earth. Either way, life on Earth will be no more. At this point, the sun will have enough heat and pressure to convert its helium into carbon and other heavier elements. This process will continue for about a billion more years until the last of its helium has been consumed. The sun will now consist mostly of carbon, but will not be hot enough to burn this carbon. It will shed off its outer layers as the core becomes a white dwarf star. Although it will be hot enough to shine for a little while, the sun will no longer be generating nuclear fusion, so it will slowly begin to cool for trillions of years until it finally reaches the same temperature as the rest of the universe at just a few degrees above absolute zero. The sun's death will now be complete. Sadly, it won't end in a huge explosion, nor will it result in a black hole that swallows everything in the solar system. When our sun's life comes to an end, It'll fade out with nothing more than a whimper. So enjoy your time in the sun. You're living during the prime of its life. And that's the cool thing about science. And as always, stay curious, keep asking questions, and continue exploring the world around you. Because eventually, that big ball of heat and light that seems to show up each morning will burn out. Have a nice day.